Hey everyone, Chris from Blu-ray Critic. Welcome to my update. And today I'll be reviewing two Harry Potter films made available for the first time ever on 4K. And I got uh, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix as well as Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. So both of these films was shot on Super 35 film and it was mastered to a 2K digital intermediate which means it's been upsampled for this release and given a new HDR color grading pass. With that being said, are these films worth the jump to 4K versus a regular Blu-ray? Well, let's put it this way. If you're a Harry Potter fan, yes, of course. Uh, definitely worth checking these films out in 4K. Yeah, I mean, these are the best versions you could see these movies. But is it significantly better over the regular Blu-ray? Of course it is. But is it perfect? It's not, but it's very, very close. Overall, both films have very nice black levels in 4K when comparing it to the regular Blu-ray editions and it's just more vivid in color. So, you know, with the HDR, the high dynamic range, you do get a significant difference versus the regular Blu-ray editions. However, there's still some slight hint of softness in the finest details, but other than that, these transfers look great and the audio mixes are great. So overall, I'm going to rate both the picture and audio quality a 4.5 out of a 5. So besides the 4K editions of the films, this also includes the uh, regular Blu-ray as well as digital HD. And uh, the Blu-ray quality is the same from the previous versions. And this is a three disc set, which also includes a, a lot of uh, special features. So let's take a closer look. So the features that you get for Harry Potter and Order of the Phoenix are creating the world of Harry Potter Part 5, Evolution, which I believe that feature was only made available for the Ultimate Collector's Edition. So now you can pick it up with this 4K release. So that's pretty cool. Plus, you get a ton of other behind-the-scenes featurettes. You get uh, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix behind the scenes, building the magic, the sets of Harry Potter, plus uh, trailing tonks, plus uh, Harry Potter, the magic of editing, and, of course, deleted scenes, about nine deleted scenes in total, as well as the teaser and theatrical trailer. And this film is presented in the aspect ratio of 2.41. For Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1, you get Creating the World of Harry Potter Part 7, which is on the story. Once again, that was another exclusive featurette that was uh, made for the Ultimate Collector's Edition previously. And you get hours of other behind-the-scenes featurettes. You get uh, Deleted Scenes, which is about 8 deleted scenes in total. The uh, Frozen Lake featurette, the new guys, the State of Evil, the Weasleys, and of course the theatrical trailer and the teaser trailer and uh, much more. And this film is also presented in the aspect ratio of 2.41. So if you want to access the bonus content, you can only see them on the regular Blu-ray editions. The 4K discs only contain the movies themselves. So these are the digital copies right there. And uh, the third disc is right underneath. So it's a stacked disc on the uh, Blu-ray section of the films. So there you have it. That's Order of the Phoenix and Deathly Hallows Part 1. And by the way, both of these films also contain the DTS-X mix. So that's my review for the two Harry Potter films in 4K. And I'll be sure to do the rest of the films, you know, reviews on them, 4K releases once I get them on hand. And I also recently did a full review for Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, which is the 4K Blu-ray release. And this is the spin-off series of the Harry Potter films. So uh, definitely check out this review on my channel as well. So uh, in the meantime, thanks for taking a look. And I will see you guys soon in my next update. Take care.